plaintiff, Angel Cavanaugh, met the defendant online. And two weeks after they started dating, the defendant tattooed her name on his body. Angel claims after she and the defendant moved in together, she realized he was an alcoholic who lied about being divorced. And she's suing him today for breach of contract, a computer, and termination fees. Defendant Paul Narr says Angel is the most evil person he has ever met. Paul claims while dating, Angel was taunting his ex-wife with text messages and emails. And she also got him fired from his job and had him falsely arrested. Paul's countersuing for unreturned property, stolen money, and emotional distress. Start with you. Um, Paul and I met on September 11th of 14 online, and we started emailing, texting, and dating back and forth. Um, shortly thereafter, while we were dating, about two weeks um, into dating, Paul went and got a tattoo with my name and the date that we met and everything on him. Um, <laughs> we, um, and I How told about him, you? <laughs> what about me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I told I told him he was crazy for doing it in the first place. Oh, okay. It had only been two weeks. Okay. Um, I did later. Um, we did get matching tattoos. I chalked that up to a midlife crisis on my part. So I do have pictures of those as well. Let's see him. Um, Where's yours? It's right here. Okay. How long after meeting did you get yours? About a month. Midlife crisis. Two weeks, one month. You <laughs> act like it was a major difference in time. I know. All right, ma'am. And how was the relationship? Um, it was great in the beginning. The first three months or so was perfect. You know, good. Everything was great until December when he started drinking and got drunk um, and would pass out all the time. And I told him I wasn't going to deal with an alcoholic and stuff. I think I accidentally passed up the one extra picture there that I gave you. Is there a picture of him laying on the floor? He tried to crawl into bed one night, and he was so drunk he couldn't get in the bed, so he fell on the floor and just slept there all night. So I took a picture. You're living with her. You drink too, Your Honor. When did you discover he was a drunk? In December. That's not. What was he doing all out. the other time? He hadn't been drinking. When we first met, he told me he didn't drink. He told. Well, that me means you drove him to drink it. <laughs> no. Sir, you give me your side. Oh, uh, this is the most evil person I've ever met in my life. How so? Please. She got me fired from my job. She has me false arrested two times. She sent my, wife, my ex-wife uh, text messages taunting her that I never loved her as much as I loved her. She emailed my job and caused me to lose my job. Where um, did all this come from? She found out I wanted to go back to my ex-wife in Florida, and that's when all this started. She got me fired from my job. She got me arrested. No, she I didn't. took my money out of the bank. Called your wife and called all my, that? All the, she, was taunt, she was texting my wife all the time we were dating that I didn't know about, just torturing her. And I have some emails if you'd like to look at them. Ma'am? Were you talking crazy to his ex-wife first? Minute? I only replied back when she texted or called me first because I thought he was divorced. He told me he was divorced, and then so I find she out. She started reaching out to you She first. called. For, the first time she called was on my phone, and I was shocked, and she said, I'd like to talk to my husband. And I said, you mean your ex-husband? And she says, no, we're still legally married. And I said, well, he told me he was divorced. No, it wasn't divorced. You know, and she's the one who filled out the no, paperwork. Yeah, after the phone call. So... What about this breach of contract, computer, early termination? How does he owe you for these things? Um, well, the breach of contract uh, was the K Jewelers account where he wanted to go um, and he was going to buy me an engagement ring and asked my son to use his um, K Jewelers account and that he would make all the payments and everything. And every month I've printed out here what was owed and what the payoff is. And Paul hasn't uh, paid on the jewelry and he still owes for all the jewelry. Give me the amount. Um, just the one sheet that says the amount. Okay, just the amount for today. Sir? Uh, Your Honor, I was working for her as a mobile notary, mm -hmm. and I was never paid anything for that, for working for her for all the months from October until May. So that should have been paid off for all the work I've done for her between those. All right, are you countersuing for that? Am I countersuing? No, sir. Yes, okay, oh, well, that would be the subject of a countersuit. Uh, so that's not in consideration today. And computer and termination fees, how does he owe you for that? Um, the termination fees, Your Honor, is prior to him moving in with me, 
uh, because he worked online and had to have a secure phone line that didn't have all the extras, like call waiting caller ID and stuff for his company. Um, he said that he needed this specific phone and um, he wanted a tablet for his son and stuff prior to being able to move into my home. And I said, well, I could arrange that through Verizon, but you'd have to pay it. And he asked how much it was each month. And I told him the monthly bills and he said he'd be able to take care of that. So prior to him moving in, um, went to Verizon and got those three items. And I have all that information here as well. Let's see it. That's it a phone, an um, office phone, a cell phone and a tablet? Correct. What was the payment arrangement? Um, the monthly payment on the office phone, I believe was $50. The cell phone was like 50 and the tablet was 10 uh, for his son. And I'm only suing for the early termination fee because he no longer lives with me. Okay, he what gave do you me money say about the account. bills that were um, being paid, sir? I have an email right here that she sent to my boss. Which and claims it says what? It says, I did have his office phone shut off since I paid the bill, and I took my cell so he has no phone. That's it, please. Your counterclaim, unreturned property, how does she owe you for that, sir? It was June the 3rd that all this started. She how found did this start? What she happened? She found out that I wanted to go back to Florida and be with mm -hmm. my ex-wife. That's not true. So then, on June the 4th, she called the police on me and said I threw a Gatorade bottle at her son. So I was arrested June the 4th for harassment. On June the 5th, she took $1,000 out of my paycheck. And on June the 6th, I look at Craigslist, and she's on Craigslist saying that she is single, she's looking for a good man, and she only lives with a 19-year-old son. Well, at that point, she had put you out, right? After she took my $1,000 huh? on the... She took my $1,000 on the What did she say fifth. wrong? What did she say that wasn't true? Nothing. Let's get to the taking of your money. How did she get a hold of your money? We had a joint account. Okay. And on the 5th, she uh, withdrew $1,000. Joint account. Had you all had an agreement as to what percentage was yours and what percentage was her money? No. Yes. The agreement was that every payday, he got paid every two weeks, mm -hmm. that he would contribute $1,000 to the household bills. Mm -hmm. um, we have the joint account. Did um, you put money in? No, I have my own private account that I did not add him to. Okay, so you never put a dime in, but it was a joint account. Correct. So did you believe you owned any of that money that went in? Yes. By virtue of what? By virtue of the fact that we went in and opened the account together, mm -hmm. and he said he was opening the account to have his paychecks directly deposited, mm -hmm. so that. I can take the money out every payday. That and that was, made you believe you owned that. Yes, that, and I have proof here for the last six months. Mm -hmm. um, I have the last six months worth of bank accounts where I withdrew the money from his. I know he says you withdrew it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you say he deposited his money. Correct. You deposited zero. Correct. But yet you took all his money. Yep. No. That is what you what said. I didn't take all his money. I left him money in his <laughs> account. Sir, what do you say? You said there was no agreement? There was no agreement at all, Your Honor. But has she been taking money previously out of that account? Correct. Under what uh, assumption? Under what? Just for, to pay bills. So you did agree to let her have the money to pay bills. Right, but all I'm saying is I was out of the house on June the 3rd. I understand. You still got to pay your bills. As the previous bills for May. What about the unreturned property? Well, I have a letter from my witness saying that my TV and my computer were not with the unturned property. We're what? We're not with my property that what we took What do you say about that? The TV is still in the living room. That's my um, All right. How much is the TV worth, sir? Um, $641, and my computer was $1,057. I don't have the computer. She and says the TV she doesn't have a computer, sir. Well, Emotional I'm... distress is for what? She got me fired from my job. I did not get okay, you fired. Okay, how so? She emailed my boss okay. on two separate occasions. Saying what? Uh, it was a breach of contract. She said... That you were drunk and arrested. Correct. She sent that to my boss. Oh, really? Because his boss wanted to know why he wasn't showing up for work. And I kept getting Did his boss emails. ask you? No, his, the emails kept coming through on my cell phone. No, his boss phone. ask you? Not ask me personally, no. Okay, you injected yourself into that and just <laughs> volunteered to tell his boss something that defamed him. All right. Well, I thought he... All I, right. $5,000 for the counterclaim. 
I'll grant you $5,000 for the emotional distress and the property and the stolen money. And secondly, ma'am, with regard to your breach of contract, computer and the early termination fees, the computer and the breach of contract, I'll grant you that's $1,711 for the breach of contract and $799 for the computer. Early termination fee is what you don't get. Your Honor, if I have a bank statement from my account that... You got $5,000. I don't know what else you want. That's the <laughs> maximum you can get. <laughs> now, her claim is what? 2510. 2510 for you. You all have a good day. I want to stay away from me and I never want to see her again. Don't worry about that.